Hey guys, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Genghis Khan 2 and me getting caught in a uh, unwanted fight against my army number one. Now, as I think I mentioned in one of my tutorial videos, it's possible with a setup like this, like when you're manually controlling forces like this, to really get advantageous uh, outcomes. Like you can take your stack one and charge the enemy stack one and if you do it just perfectly, kill them off in one or two of these rounds before anybody else can react and capture everything with a much smaller force. But it's very time consuming to do that and it takes a lot of effort so I don't usually bother. And I'm getting arrowed. And yeah, if you're willing to like switch out forces as well and fight mostly with like one or two guys and you're leading them you can also increase your war, war effectiveness that way. So if you want to watch every little battle, you can get really obscenely early conquest times doing so. Because, I mean, look at this. This is just for me leading uh, t with a sea warmonger, leading in battle. And, you know, I'm roasting these guys alive in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Quite crazy. Oops, don't have to move. Yeah, I don't want TMIT to die, though. <laughs> Not with this going on. Oop, now they're, uh, they got their own guy taking command here. That's okay, though. He's damaged already, so I don't have to worry. Let's see who comes out ahead here. It's gonna be close. Looks like I'm gaining a slight lead, though. Wow, very slight. Oh, until that. Once they're confused, you can do a lot of damage on charges. Yay, more confusion. That's right, your body points fall too. And even though I'm an E guy and my body points don't usually count for much, they do here. Yeah. And finally we get to pick this army off. So, okay. <sighs> a decent outcome for a change. I'm going to try to demand surrender just to recruit my uh, losses. I don't expect much to come of this, but uh, bear with me, viewers. It's a worthy attempt. Oh, wow, he's actually trying to run. Huh. Well, in that case, I'll make an effort to capture him this way. Ah, oh, come on, game. Let me capture the quality troops. Well, I guess not. <laughs> oh, well. At least I killed off a lot of enemies, uh, forces as well. Well, now I'm pissed. I'm just going to kill everybody because he got away. Stupid gore sultanate. Wow, an A in politics. This guy would be an amazing leader to have. But, um, he's not... I have to use TMIT, so... Sure. Because I'm going to go after the Gore Sultanate on that entire loop. Sandstorm. Ha ha. Ouch, my body points are killing me. <laughs> I guess that's from the fight. Yeah, all answers are... I forget. Let's check. Um, this is it. Yeah, nomads are like C's across the board. Um, Lancers... They're a little bit worse than Marmalukes, but... or Mamalukes, but what can you do? The market rate's a little high for anything else. 
Can't spend time with the family. Can't even train troops, I don't think. Um, yeah, I'll just recruit uh, some random guys here. This is fine. Ah, oh, no. Hopefully I don't lose anything. I probably will, though. No. I'm not allying you for eight years. You Think of how many revolts I can have in that period of time. Yeah, I, I lost uh, one unit there. Time to sell some stuff. Hmm. Who pays the most for textiles? 2.5. Just out of curiosity. 2.2. I bet it's the Chinese. 1.6. Yeah. That's a lot of money. There you go. I said to buy back a unit and attack. Hmm. Okay, war. Recruit units and home base. Oh, I won't be able to attack right away though. There we go. Can I buy arms? I can. Not the cheapest market rate for that. Always want to be well armed though. Ah, oh, screw you. <laughs> had to figure it was coming. I had way too many turns without that happening. Finally back up to full body points. Nice respectable troops there. He doesn't really. He, I just have to hope that somebody around him has uh, ac acceptable forces to stomp him down. No. What about in France? No. <laughs> <sighs> Not really a lot I can do about that over there right now. So why don't we just invade? Yeah, even nomads are ranked higher than knights in the game. Pretty impressive, huh? Impressively bad for the knights, which cost 500 more gold. Oh, if I can get a suicide rush off on the uh, stack one, that would be brilliant. Um, yeah, I like that. Don't! What are you doing, five? No, five, no! No, Charlie! Oh, I am so screwed. Five is definitely dead. He might hold off okay against two, but... Yeah, the dogpiling isn't gonna help. Oh, you lost to catapults. You suck. Get out of there! Well, let's try this. <laughs> I might be able to recoup some of my losses if I can capture some of the enemy forces. Dope. Come on. Alright, I gotta get the second out of there.
No. <laughs> He's trying to run away. There is no escape. <laughs> Except for maybe there is. Oh, come on, game. There we go. Yes. Nice. That will effectively allow no losses. <laughs> your attempt at running for your life ended in failure. Nobody leaves alive. You bet it's humiliating. Oh wow, I got their leader. Nice. Not that it really makes a big difference in gameplay, but... Nope. Hmm, maybe I'll just ignore the revolters and come after them at the end of the game. After I've taken care of all the land to the east. Because none of my revolters are particularly effective, they're all low rated. So yeah, I think I'll do that. <laughs> Still doesn't trust Langdon. Yeah, TMIT is still in his early 20s, so I have a lot of time left with him, as long as I don't screw up. And then there's always TMIT 2. Okay. Let's push our advantage. I pretty much shattered their offensive forces. They probably won't have too much in this back, uh, these back territories until uh, they start running away and bunching up on me again. That's when it's going to get hard. And Tibet is extremely annoying to attack. I'm not looking forward to attacking Tibet. Oh wow, actually they have quite a bit still. Well... Could I set up an ambush here? Mm, maybe. Maybe I can set up an ambush here. I'm going to move the second down there. I mean, I can set up an ambush there, but I don't know if actually anyone will fall into it. But I'm going to definitely approach from the south here. And if they try to flee, I'm definitely going to take advantage of that as well. And try to capture them that way. This is going to be another hard fight, especially since I don't have the best quality forces in the world or something. Alright. First can move up. Hopefully I don't have to use the first again. Hopefully I can just encourage a retreat. After killing a lot of stuff, ideally. Okay. If I move my second here... Yeah, they'll attack me without... Um, I, I don't know if I'll draw the attention from others, but I can probably create a, a choke pipeline here at least. Hmm. At least Mamelukes are better than uh, Nomads, huh? Although I might lose one. Hmm, it'll be close. Whoa, hello. Or you can break your ambush plans and come after me right away. Um. I'm actually going to bring my fourth down now. And order my second back. I don't want to risk losing my unit. But alright, since I'm coming up on the time limit, I'll have to continue this in the next part. Thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. The me and team signing off.